Hello everybody and welcome back to my Pokemon Nuzlocke here on Alpha Sapphire. Now we're gonna be fighting uh, uh, this family of, of trainers right now. Um, yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna start fighting you. I'm hoping, hoping that this is gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode, you guys. I really, my goal for today is to get, get to the area with Ash, or maybe to the, uh, what's it called? To the, to the city right after the Ash, possibly. Um, I'm gonna use Force Palm on this right here. here, here. Um, yeah, it did 10 damage to me. That's not that good. But, like I said, I really. It, it's four people. Oh, oh, oh. Um, and they all have different, different, like, style of fighting. Like, I think this guy has a. I think this guy's normal. And then. Finish, finish, finish straight is, is, is what it is. Yeah, Zigzagoon and a Taylor. So they're normal Pokemon. Or I guess. Is Taylor normal? They're normal flying, I think. So, and then the mom, I think, is fire? The mom might be fire. And then the other, I, I think, is grass, water, fire. I think it's, like, the three starters for the for that one. And then as for the grandma, I think hers is, like, psychic or something. I'm not sure what we on that. We're going to see it in a skin. Um, yeah, stronger than I thought. The problem with the with this family is even though I beat him, I can't heal that or switch out my first Pokemon. Like whatever I have as in my first slot is what I start with in every single one of these battles. Like it doesn't, it's not like fighting six Pokemon in a row. It's like fighting one or two Pokemon in a row. Ever, ever like two and then two and then three and then one and then, you know, I, you know what I mean? Okay, a Roselia. Okay, so she's not fire. Uh, she's, she's just a Roselia. She just does one thing. So she's grass, whatever. Uh, vital throw. Ooh, Mega Drain. I do like those Mega Drains. Like I said before, it's all about Giga Drain. Um, something. Um, I want to make. I want to. I want to just. I want to make note of this. Um, I had talked about in a. I think it was like two episodes ago. I think what it was. When I, when I was fighting May. Or maybe when I was talking to Wall. It was when I. When it was. It was during the contest pass when when um. That, that chick with her uh, Altaria came out. I, I had mentioned that, like, May has the contest passed, and, like, that's why she travels along the things to, like, do, do those things. Like, she wasn't, like, planning on being, like, a Pokemon trainer. And that, that much is true. So she is the one with the contest passed. But also, if you care about um, the canonicity, uh, canology, or, you know, the, the act of something being canonical, <laughs> canonicity. I think is what it's called. That's, uh, if you care about that kind of thing, um, I'm curious what you guys consider to be canon first, or if you guys even care. Um, if you consider, like, games to be canon before anime canon, canon, or if you think that the an anime is more canon than the games, or if you talk about, like, the manga, maybe, like, manga to be more canon than everything else. Um, I kind of like to go back to, like, the source, like, which one came first kind of thing, um, which in this case is the games. Um, but if there's like a problem with the cannon and it's like you have confusion, then then you go to another source, like the next cannon source kind of thing, and you kind of work your way up from there. So I was wondering on what the proper way to play this game is, because like I said, I'm playing Brendan right now with a Mudkip, but in the anime, Brendan doesn't even exist as a player. Um, but again, the game came first, so there's no wrong way to play. But in the anime, May is given a Torchic as her starter Pokemon. And she's also the one with the contest passed. And in this game, whoever you play as, whether it's May or Brendan, it doesn't make a difference. Your father in this game is... Um, your father is always going to be Norman, the, the gym leader. Ooh, pin missile. Oh, no, horn attack. Um, your father is always going to be Norman, the, the gym leader. But in the anime, May's father is Norman. Which means... the I would say that the best way to like play this game canonically would be play as May with a Torchic as your starting Pokemon. Which means, how I'm playing the game currently, playing as Brendan with a Mudkip, is pretty much as far away from wrong as you can get. Because that makes May have a Trico 
as her starter, which is also wrong. So, if you're going to play as Brendan, I would say to stay the most cannon, play with something that would give May the, the Torchic, which means you would have to have the grass, which means you need to play Trico as Brendan or May with Torchic. You're welcome, if you guys care. But uh, yeah, sorry. We'll get, we'll uh, we'll get back to the uh, sorry for that little rant right there. I just thought you guys might be interested in that kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna use disarming voice over here on the uh, on the shroomish. Critical hit, stun spore. I'm gonna get paralyzed. I'll put a spell on you. Now you're mine. Um, yeah, just him with another disarming voice shouldn't really be that big of a deal. I've been seated. <laughs> How dare! And I'm paralyzed! The worst! Alright, there's the paralysis. Yeah, alright. What am I gonna do? Well, I might switch Pokemon. I'm paralyzed with low health. Kip, you're gonna have to do this for me. Because like I said, I think the daughter has Grass, Fire, Water. Grass, Fire, Water? Yeah, like those are like the three main. And this is a grass Pokemon, which means I'm going to go up against either like a Slugma or a Heemo, probably. Those are really the only three fire Pokemon. Oh, I am hoping to get a fire Pokemon in this episode as well. Because um, I'll be going on a uh, Fiery Road. And it has a chance, I mean, it has a chance to give me a Machop, which I don't really need because it can't turn into a Machamp. It's impossible without trading, which is so stupid. Um, but I can, get a, I can get a Machop. And I can get... Um, I don't want the Machop, because I already have the Makuhita. Yeah, a Numel, and I hit him with a Water Gun. Um, but because I know I have the time right now, he's not going to do that much damage to me. I'm going to heal Glimmer um, with a potion, just to get her health a little bit back up. She'll, he'll do a little bit of damage to me, but it's really not going to be that much. Yeah, fire against water. Yeah, nothing. I'm also ground, which is resistant or anything to, to fire. Either way. Yeah, we're going to water gun this guy in the face. But what I was saying is, on Fiery Road, I have a chance to get a Slugma or a Numel. And, oh, and a, uh... Ah, what's it called? The It looks like a turtle. Torkoal. Yeah. I can also get Torkoal on Fiery Road. So, three chances to get a... To, three chances to get a Fire Pokemon. Well, one chance to get a Fire Pokemon. I can only take the first one it gives me. But there's three opportunities. Um, and then there's some other things that I would hope not to get. But... Oh! <gasps> well, Lamina's evolving! Oh, I'm so proud of her. With her little ziggy face and her little raccoon. I do love that. Oh, it's looking so good. I'd be so upset if she dies. Oh! Very cool. Oh, I like her blue eyes. Looking nice. Looking sleek. So, fun thing about Zigzagoons is they only run in zigzag patterns. And then Lining can only run in a straight line. <gasps> oh! Bok Choi's evolving! Ooh! Speaking about Bok Choy, though, and about him evolving, the thing is, I gotta stop him from evolving. Uh, and the reason for that, it's very clear. Um, the reason I need to stop Bok Choy from evolving is because at level 26, I'll evolve him. I'll evolve him at either 26 or 27. But at level 26, if I don't evolve him, he will learn Giga Drain. Oh, she has a Metadite. Those things can be dangerous, and she's only got one, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, at level 26, if I don't evolve Bok Choy, he'll learn Giga Drain. But if I evolve him too early, his evolution does not have a chance to learn Giga Drain. And it's going to be so much better. I'm talking like 10 times better. Okay, it's probably not 10 times better. But it feels like it's 10 times better than Giga Drain, or Mega Drain. So that's why I'm not evolving him. He's strong enough right now. We'll evolve him a little bit in the future. He'll turn into a fighting Pokemon anyway. And after 26, or if you if he was to evolve now, I wouldn't give him any of his move sets that he would learn until level 28 anyway, um, which would be Force Palm, which I think Makuhita or Darwin already has. So not evolving him to 26, he gets Giga Drain, and then I'll evolve him, and then at 28 he'll learn Force Palm um, because he'll be a fighting Pokemon as well, a Breloom. If that makes any sense. Either way, that's why I'm not evolving him right now. It's going to be really important that he gets Giga Drain because he's going to be healing himself better. But, uh, as for this Metadite, I'm really glad I got Glimmer out here. Glad I healed her up. 
because disarming voice I the psychic or does fairy hurt psychic more or not more or does it matter is it like neutral I'm not sure I think sarkic yeah super effective um, I think psychic is strong against dark or not not psychic sorry fairy is strong against dark Dark is super strong against Psychic, but Psychic has absolutely no effect on Dark Pokemon. So, if Glimmer's going up against the Dark Pokemon, I better get the first shot, because my Fairy po my fairy move will hopefully one-shot a Dark Pokemon. I think inside here, I think the Mom or Grandma gives me the Macho... Yeah, Macho Brace. It uh, it ups my, my fighting moves. I should put that on my uh, on Darwin. He, you know, he deserves he deserves some nice things, some new clothes. Um, what's the... Mom is stronger than Dad, I'm stronger than Mom, and Grandma's stronger than me. But my big brother is even stronger. I wonder if her big brother or something is one of the Elite Four. Um, I'm not sure what their names are. Yeah, I gotta Rock Smash this again. Oh, fingers crossed! Fingers crossed! That I don't get a... Oh, look at my little... Will to me there. Okay. I didn't, uh, I didn't get anything. Um, that's gonna be really important. Um, we're gonna go up here. I was thinking, I want to kind of avoid that girl. I don't feel like fighting these guys right now. What's over here on the left? Route 112. Oh, May, how you doing? Ah, <laughs> Seth, look right up there. It's Mount Chimney. Is Mount Chimney a volcano, by any chance? Looking good. It's very picturesque. It sure is big. It's a volcano. No, more like huge. It totally takes my breath away. Well, you probably shouldn't stand so close. I'd love to take the cable car all the way up there. I would too. Hmm. Hey, Seth. Don't your Pokemon seem to be a little ragged around the edges? Here, let me give them a little bit of a boost. The problem with that is, uh, you might have seen a little bit of a cut, but I had actually gone back <laughs> and uh, I healed my Pokemon. So she actually didn't heal anything. Shoot. Oh, I learned Strength. I don't think I can use Strength yet. Not until I beat one of the later gyms. Yeah, Lava Ridge Town, which I gotta, I gotta go all the way up Mount Chimney and then down, I think, is how I get to Lava Ridge. Yeah, Professor Cosmo, I'm all the way up, let's battle next time. Yeah, I'm not battling her now, I, I, I just battled her like an episode or two ago. But, uh, here, I did a little bit of grinding, I went over here, I got, I bought Venashock over there on the top right. Makuhita, or Darwin right here, he's evolving, looking rather spiffy. Um, sorry, it looks a little bit messy. I just thought it might be fun to kind of throw all the pictures in here at once. I thought you might appreciate it. Uh, I did a double battle um, with the uh, with the newscasters. That was kind of fun. Um, yeah, learned a whole bunch of stuff. Bok Choy wanted to evolve again. Uh, the question is, is, did I get Darwin up high enough? I did not. <laughs> so she, he's still not evolving. But. We're one step closer to having him evolve. He'll probably evolve in the next episode, I'm hoping. Uh, he might evolve in this episode. Probably not, though. Um, close, though. Depends if he evolves on level uh, 26 or not. Or if I have to stop him from evolving on 26. Either way, this is Fiery Path. Sorry, I might have called it Fiery Road earlier. Fiery Path. I'm hoping for a... Honestly, I'm kind of hoping for a Torkoal. The, uh, the turtle. Super slow, but it, it tanks a little bit more. Okay. Okay, I got a Slugma. Well, that's probably my third choice. <laughs> Fourth choice, really. Honestly, there's a Vulpix that I can get much later in the game. But uh, that's probably not going to happen. Vulpixes are a little bit rarer. Um, here's my grass. I probably shouldn't have used Magical Leaf. The, the thing is, is I don't want to kill him. Which is why I had to use the Magical Leaf. Alright. Didn't seem too bad. It's a level 15. Not very effective. I'm hoping. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna throw a Pokeball at this guy right now. Uh, Great Ball. I'm not I'm not having I'm not I'm not giving any chances. I got that Ultra Ball. I don't know if you noticed that. But uh, yeah, I gotta have this Fire Pokemon on my team. And if I couldn't get the New Mullen, I couldn't get the or Camera up. That's what I really want. But uh, Slugma, Slugma's gonna have to do. And uh. What should I name Slugma? I, di I didn't get any good suggestions on Pokemon for uh, for this fire guy, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name him myself. Uh, registration complete. Yep. Doesn't have any blood in its body. 
fucking terrible, but I'm naming it. Hot Pocket. <laughs> yeah. Sue me if you don't like it. We're naming him Hot Pocket. I think it looks cool. Slugma. I did like the Slugma cards and stuff from like way back when. But I am glad we didn't get like a. The fighting Pokemon. Mach Machop. Alright, back to Route 112. Um, have I caught a Pokemon here yet? On 112? I don't think I caught one on 112 yet. Because I came up. Yeah, I didn't. I definitely did not catch a 112 Pokemon yet. So that's still open. Uh, that was work, yada yada yada. Alright. We're gonna, we're gonna get some of these berries. Or, maybe not. Uh, Route 111. Like I said, I'm trying not to get a Pokemon on Route 111 for a very specific reason. And that's because right here is a sandstorm, which is also considered Route 111. And inside there, I can get myself a Trapage, which can give me a Flygon. Which, if I can't get an Altaria, which is a, uh, a Flying Dragon, uh, let me remind you. If I can't get the Flying Dragon Altaria, then I would love to get the f Dragon Ground. I think it's Ground Dragon. Um, Flygon. Um, Flygon's, I think, a little bit stronger, but it's going to take me a lot longer. I think it, I think it doesn't evolve into a Flygon until level 45. Oh! Bok Choy's evolving again! Don't mind if I do. <laughs> but not today. <laughs> I guess it hasn't learned the right move yet. It's okay. Uh, I don't know if I've ever canceled a Pokemon's uh, move so many times. Uh, this guy. Yeah, Ace. He's like... Uh, I always I always consider this guy to have like an Australian accent. Um, but he's the guy who shows you secret power. The reason I'm fast-forwarding is because it really doesn't matter all that much. I'm not going to deal anything with these, uh, these hidden, hidden structures. Um, but he kind of gives me this little base thing here. Uh, I can decorate it with like some low-tad dolls and stuff. Really, I don't know what the point of it is. This chick right here, chick, she's an old lady. That chick right there, she heals your Pokemon. Up here, I get this thing over here. Route 111. I got a, I got the thing. So that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'll probably leaving. I'll probably be leaving this episode here for right now. Oh yeah, my my bike. I don't know if I've shown you my bike yet, but here's my bike. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be leaving this episode here. Um, if you liked it, you know what to do. Oh. Yeah, all right, we're going to talk to May first. Yeah, the road here was pretty long, huh? Well, of course. You're, ah, they look pretty tired. Why do you heal my Pokemon right after I freaking heal them? Ugh, that's okay, whatever. Professor Cosmo, yes, he's a famous researcher about meteorites. Um, yeah, uh, my dad, I mean, uh, Professor Birch. Yep, da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Ah, enough dawdling. Not much farther than Fallbor. 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 Fall aboard. All aboard, fall aboard. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is Route 113. Um, now, let me remind you, we didn't catch anything on 111, and we didn't catch anything on 112, because, like I said, I'm waiting for that Flygon. Okay, I guess I'll fight you. All done. <laughs> oh, but yeah, like I said, if you liked it, you know what to do. Um, I really guys, I really hope you guys have been enjoying um, this Pokemon Nuzlocke. And let me know, um, I need to know if, like, soon, if I should use some, like, the legendary Pokemon that the game has to offer. But that's all I've got for you for right now. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.